Hey folks, let me preface this by saying this, though I don't care who listen. Well, don't care. I don't mind who listen to this video, but this is actually directed at content creators. Now, maybe it will give a little insight, something that now uh, most content creators will understand what I'm talking about. And if you plan on becoming a content creator, I mean, I'm no standard bearer by no stretch of the imagination. I'm just a content creator. That's, that's about it. YouTube has their magic number at a thousand. And I think that's just marketing for them to uh, have people keep going into it. But anybody that's been following me for a while, know this is my second uh, channel because my original prepper channel, you know, when they done the purge, I got caught. It just got trampled underfoot, but it is what it is. Now, all these people that you're going to see, I just took some shots, some screenshots and some I had some I didn't. Uh, so, but, um, I went and I uh, made them and, uh, put them, downloaded them for this video here. Uh, some of these people, some I'm down with a lot of them. I'm down with some, you know, not so much, but yeah, you know me, I'm not big on the hate game. I don't get into that game. There's a, uh, that field is full. And even if it wasn't, I wouldn't want anything to do with it. That's, that's just not how old Sarge gets down. Heck, uh, eight people, eight people in this, uh, in this list here of all these people you're going to watch during this thing. If you watch it all the way to the end, because they're constantly going to change. Um, eight people on here. I can pick up the phone and call right now, talk to them multiple times. Some of them I've actually met, but that's not, you know, that's not the point of this here. The, the other ones, there are probably some on this list that probably don't, know who the heck I am uh, probably. And that's cool because that's not what this is about, about who knows me or who thinks I'm this or this, that, or the other, because I'm just a guy. I'm a, I'm a dude away from here. I mean, so if YouTube decided to up and disappear tomorrow, I still got a life to live. I still got stuff to do people to take care of guys to, to lead and equipment to move. So, but, you know, I wouldn't, I'd be, uh, I'd be disingenuous if I wouldn't say that sometimes things are entertaining and sometimes it's great giving out information that, you know, some people find usable and there's normally something for everybody in this space. You know, some people get more out of it. Some people don't get anything out of it outside of entertainment. I understand that as well. Everybody's content. I'm, I don't, I doubt if my content is going to be everyone's cup of tea, just like other people's content. There's a lot of people whose content isn't my cup of tea. Some of them are in this list where some things, you know, yeah, yeah, this, that, and other, like I'm, I'm 50, 50, 40, 60, 60, 40, 90, 10, you know, and, and everywhere over the board. And that's where I see a big draw with people and social media spaces is about who likes who and who's dealing with who and who's doing this and who's doing that and the other. If you notice one thing about this list so far, this list is all black men, all black content creators. Now the ones that whether I get down all the way with them or not, that's not the point It's called respect. And regardless of the content, whether they're talking electronics or relationships or whatever, pop culture, pulp, pulp culture, pop culture, music, whatever, it doesn't matter because everyone here has an audience. If they didn't have an audience, they wouldn't be here. This list is all black men, and there's a reason behind that. And that's because black men in these spaces, we are the group that's easier targeted 
and the first to be censored or have their channel removed anytime someone is in earshot and we say it's something that they didn't like. Even though you may not be talking to that, you may not even know who this person is or this person exists. I don't know every whatever fill in the blank on the planet don't want to, but y'all know what I'm talking about because the rules, it's an unwritten rule and the rules for black males are different than they are for anybody else in this space, including black females. All the female channels have a free run at you regardless of their content whether their content is saying you're okay, content praising you, content lambasting and attacking you and everyone around you and anyone that decides to listen to you and if they listen to you, you're a this, that, and other, and you should poof, uh, uh, disappear in a cloud of pixie dust. Oh, and trust me, they have male enablers too. Notice I said male, I didn't say men. Oh, and on that part, here's something else that the enablers don't understand. The attackers slash flaggers, uh, y'all know who, I'm going to say it, tap, tap, tap. Hey, she's talking about you too. They see us all the same. They don't differentiate. The not all thing only applies to you. You supposed to say that when talking about them, but they don't have to say it when talking about you. They know they have a free run. They know they have carte blanche. It is what it is. I know it. They know it. I'm not trying to take it away from it. I just maneuver. So anyway, let's go this way here. If you're really trying to build your spot, cause look at the people here. Look at the ones in this list. We got guys from the thousands to the hundreds, to the low thousands, to the mids, to the 40, 50 thousands. And I think one of them is, I think one of now yeah, I think he is. I think one of them's over a million. No, well, two of them are over a million. And we know if you're looking at the whole thing, you will know who's who. Now, I will say this. This list is in no particular order because you know how software, how folders do. They put things in alphabetical order. So that's the way you're looking at them. If you're paying attention, you notice everyone's in alphabetical order. So there's no, oh, this is my favorite going to my least favorite or whatever. It's it's in alphabetical order. That's the way they were saved on my machine. I know a lot of people, well, some people kind of get down on black males in this space, telling them that they're you're doing this, it's just entertainment. You're not going to make any money. You shouldn't this. You're not going to make anything. And you got this, this, and this, and this. Like the only people that can use this platform to use it as a starting point to leapfrog them to somewhere else is everyone but black men. And when a black man tries to do it, you will have other black men, black males that try to chew you down and saying, you're not going to be, oh, well, the odds are you making it. Okay. There's a whole bunch of things that's odd based. So because the odds are, this whatever percentage mean that I'm not that not me, but uh, a person because I've heard them say, heard this angle towards other people. So that mean he shouldn't try. So he shouldn't have tried out for the football team. Shouldn't have tried out for basketball. Shouldn't have tried out for the debate team. Shouldn't have went to in the recording studio to do this. Shouldn't have tried out to get that acting gig. Shouldn't have tried that. I mean, that's that I know some people may not mean it in a defeatist way, but some people actually do mean it in a defeatist way. But so everyone else can use this platform to spread out and go somewhere else and do something else outside of this. I know a guy that made his money from you to well made enough money to start the actual hustle that he wanted to do in real life. And he used YouTube to do it, the money from it. So I guess he wasn't supposed to try either. He's one in a million. This is true. He sure is one in a million, but I bet you sit back and turn on the TV and watch one in 10 millions every day. You watch professional athletes. You watch 
Holly weird actors. When you turn on your radio, what do you hear? When you go through your Apple, your iPod, your uh, music thing, what do you hear? You hear one in a million people. Stevie Wonder, Babyface, you name it. Even the ones that ain't with us no more. Michael Jackson, Prince, so many people. Run DMC, Eric B and Rock him. Then your new school guys that I don't know anything about. They're one in the millions. So why would I tell, why would I tell somebody not to do something because they probably ain't going to do good at it or they probably ain't going to make it because I don't think I could do it. I got this thing. I normally try to push people up over the top of me. Hell. And, um, now when you get to these guys, these tubers that branch out and they go to, uh, start doing podcasts and start doing, uh, promo videos and advertisements, voiceovers, doing video editing like AM one and Supreme King Coon and voiceovers like Xavier from profit of thought and all these guys. Why, why shouldn't they take that opportunity? There's a lot of guys here in the tech, you know, do tech software, internet security, all kind of other things. Some of them, some of them have web, some of them websites, some of them are content creators. Some of them aren't, but they're known in this space. There's a lot of people in this, in this sphere that we have that don't have a channel. But if you mention their name, every majority of the people are going to know who you're talking about. The way I see it is if you can use this as a platform to get to the next level, do it. If you can turn out to be the next such and such podcast, do it. If you can, you know what I'm saying? If you can do, do it. I mean, what you need to do is get so far and, and so high where your haters are just punching at the air because you so high up, they can't touch you. That's a thing of beauty. And then a lot of folks started here and they're podcasting and live streaming away from YouTube. Yeah. And if it wasn't Reg, the one hit me, Reg, the bad guy, hit me to anchor. I was listening to his anchor podcast, listening to his today. And I know other ones, you know, you have your buttons and, you know, this one like this one or they don't like that one. I mean, that's, I don't care. That's, you know, that everyone has their personal preference and you have your own opinion. If you choose not to support other channels and outlets, that's cool. Cause there's, I'm not going to support everybody and I'm not going to listen to everybody across multiple platforms, but know what I'm not going to do. I ain't going to go over there screwing with you. I'm going to leave you alone. Just like I'm leaving you alone. Now I'm going to leave you alone later. And it's just so strange to some people that's been around. And as soon as they blossom, as soon as it, it seems to be an invisible line somewhere like 20,000 subscribers, I'm just pulling a number. And then all of a sudden, here they come. Here come everybody clawing on you, grabbing on you. This one ain't nothing. He's a this, he's a that, he's a charlatan. He left that chick or this, that, and other. He messed with his ex-wife's cousin and this, that. Wait a minute, so you knew that when he had 5,000 subscribers, right? Yeah, but it wasn't an issue until he got 50,000 subscribers and was invited to go on to such and such podcast to talk about stuff. Now here you come. So that tells me it wasn't what he done that aggravates you is that he done it and he still got past it. That's what aggravates you. Because if it, if it was the action at the root, you would have said something, whether he had five subscribers, five, 500 or 5,000. But once he hit 50,000, once he hit 80,000, once he, now he's crossing platforms. Now here you come. Some people are, it seem like they're actually just born to hate or just waiting in the shadows for somebody to, to try to break away from the pack. That's that crab bucket mentality, I guess. Not everyone has it, but there's a lot that do. And sometimes that crab is staring you in your face or sitting next to you or two rows in front of you or maybe even right behind you. Sometime they'll show themselves. Sometime you don't know it until you hear them pinchers go click, click, click. Get away from them. Step on them as fast as possible. Get away from them. 
but me, if ain't nobody messing with me, whether I like their content or not, they ain't bothering me. I ain't got nothing to say. Hey man, you him here? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I wish him well. Oh, he got a, he got a hundred more subs. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And if I do have to respond to you, I'm going to keep it to a minimum. I'm not getting into a back and forth and back and forth. I'm not arguing like chicks. I ain't no chick. I'm, I'll let chicks do chicks. I'll do dude. If you don't, you don't have to be everyone's friend, but just cause you don't have to be their friend. Don't mean you got to throw barbs at them either. Find something else to do. Now, once you start, if you do get to that point where you like, Hey, this is starting to roll. This is going to grow a little bit. Do yourself a favor, upgrade your equipment. You ain't got to upgrade your image because the people are there because of you. And you see a lot of people, a lot of people on this list. You see, look at this, look at these guys. What do they have in common now that, I mean, what, what do they have going on now that majority of them didn't when they started, they didn't went from 720p to 1080p from 1080p. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah they, you're right. There I go. But say I'm incorrect. And then I know I'm not the only one that said, if you can't do anything else, at least improve your audio. You may, you may not have to have the best video because most of these, uh, online platforms, they compress, they compress the, uh, image and audio anyway. So if it's clear already, you should be good to go. But man, it's horrible when audio's dropping out, you hear scratchy clang, boom, uh, boring, all this other stuff. Dude, once you get to a certain level, you need to step your game up. Take some of that coin that the people are giving you. Yes, I know YouTube pilfers the heck out of you on super chat. That's why if I super chat, it's a low number. When I do the bigger donations and some of the guys here know I cash app them. So it they don't take us nowhere near a big of a hit cash app or PayPal. So the majority of that money will go in their pocket, not into a platform that's already profit profiting off of our content, whether you are monetized or not. Anyway, lighting cameras, editing, 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 what you're listening to now, this is edited because I make mistakes. Annunciation is off all kinds of things, big gaps, spacing, everything. Spend a little time editing it to make your content flow. It's easier to listen to. Your layout, FaceTime, microphone, audio, I'm telling you, there's, you don't have to buy a $4,000 microphone. I'm not going to buy a $4,000 microphone. If you see me with a $4,000 microphone, that means someone gave it to me because I'm not spending $4,000 on a microphone. Now, other equipment, you have access to Seova. You have access to keep it techie. You have access to me. There's a lot. Look at the equipment that these guys got sitting here. AM1 is a, is a videoologist. Yes, I made that up. Look at the equipment that these guys got. If, if you notice one thing, I hope while you're looking at these pictures, if you're looking at these pictures, look at the equipment that these guys got. A lot of these guys and got stream labs and ecam, and OBS, stream yard, background and motion and video and crawlers and crawlers at the top of the screen, crawlers at the bottom of the screen, cascading background input outside audio, background audio. Look at these, whether you like their content, even mine or this one or that one other, look at what they, look at what they're doing. Look at what they got. Once you get to a certain level, it would behoove you to put some of that into your equipment. Now, better equipment doesn't make up for lack of content. You have to have content but you already have content. If you got 10,000 subs, you have, you got 10,000 people that for whatever reason decided to click that button, to click the bell and they've clicked that bell. Now you may have more than 10,000 listening to you. So don't get me wrong. I mean, content is king, but there's a lot of guys. You got to admit they got some real good visuals and some real good audio. 
and it makes it easier. It, it, it's, it's easier to watch, it's easier to listen to. Such and such got, uh, he got a half a million subs and all he do is carry around his cell phone. Yeah, you watching reaction stuff, he going around out in public effing with people, pranking people. You're, a, you're in a special, you're in a special class. He's a rarity and so are you, but it's only so far that's gonna get you. And also branding and niche. Oh, and another one that's damn good at what he do. Always, I've never seen him put out a bad product yet. It's SKC. He puts out a good product. A lot of these guys on here put now, of course, everybody's not going to be M MKBHD. I get it, but he's another one. What if he didn't try? I remember watching him when he was shooting videos on his phone when he was a kid. That's how long I've been watching him. I'm quite sure something checked out by now and that's cool, but I'm going to roll it anyway. Branding and finding your niche, whatever that is, tech, medical, health, cooking channel. See, everybody want to come in. Not, we'll take that back. A lot of people want to come in at the top. Don't want to put in the work from the bottom to make it to the middle. And then once they get to the middle, take a breather, pause, look around you, see what's working, see what's not working. See if you're actually going to be trespassing on somebody else's lawn or not. See if you're going to be a pioneer. And it's hard not to make it if you're talking about money, health, and food. I don't talk about neither because I don't have any money. I'm, I'm, I'm relatively healthy. And the only thing I know about food is how to cook it, buy it, and eat it. <laughs> I'm good at that. I got that down. Even though people are, man, you ought to do a barbecue thing, dude. I think the market is saturated with barbecue channel saturated. And I'm in Texas too. G. Oh, gee, look at this. A black guy in Texas that knows how to barbecue. Who to thunk it? Barbecue is a way of life down here for everybody. Black, white, Hispanic, hey, you name it. You know, it's Texas. This barbecue cap. Hey, look, I don't care what nobody tell you. Look, Memphis barbecue is good. It's good. I didn't ate Carolina. I was stationed at Fort Bragg. It's good. It's good. I didn't had they barbecue. It's good. Uh, South Carolina, it's okay. St. Louis, my granddaddy from St. Louis, we eat good. So, yeah, it's good. It's a uh, don't nobody top Texas barbecue. I don't care what they tell you. We are the kings of the queue. Them big TV shows, they gotta, they gotta give y'all mercy trophies every now and again because people get where Texas is like Alabama football. You get tired of seeing them in the championship year after year. But we don't. Trust me, the Alabama fans don't either. And I'm not a I'm not a Crimson Tide fan, but I know the last person you want to play to make it into the playoffs is that the uh, make it to a bowl game is Alabama. You hope somebody else draw they num draw they card, not you. <laughs> Call me a lie. But anyway, underspending on yourself will cost you more in the end than overspend. Because once you spent is gone, you know. Once you didn't underspent, like a guy, I told him, dude, I know what people say about that microphone. It's not that good. It's okay. But dude, you can spend another $30 and get a real nice podcast mic microphone. So basically he threw away, he threw away $60 when he could have for 90, not 99, $95. He could have got a real decent mic. But anyway, buy once, cry once. Now you can't spend what you don't have. I'm not saying take your rent money and go out here and buy a SM7B microphone. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is when you get to the point where you're gaining traction and the people, when you have people waiting in your queue to go live, they're waiting and you're starting to see new faces waiting in your queue to go live. That's when it's time for you to take some of that coin, some of that ad coin, some of that, uh, your monetized coin, some of that, uh, cash app, super chat coin and buy that hundred dollar microphone. 
I know people spend more than hundred dollars a month on alcohol and God chant, you spend more than a hundred dollars a month on alcohol, but the alcohol doesn't make you any money, but you're, you one of the few people that your channel does. I'm getting long in this here. I hope y'all get the, the bulk, the gist of what I'm saying. I mean, if, if you're in, you're in, if it's just a hobby to you, I get it. Then just use your phone. If it's someone you don't like, that's fine. Don't watch them. That's the craziest thing in the world to click on somebody that you claim you hate. Well, I want to see what he's going to say, even though I hate him. That's childish. And this is no diss. I expect that from females. I don't expect that from people that call themselves men. And some of them have children. That's the strangest thing in the world. Some of them are even content creators. But if you try to do it to them, strange thing. I'm still going to do what I do. <laughs> like comment share subscribe bye